We are going to see how we can integrate e to the square of x. This question seems very impossible, isn't it? However, once we take this integral into the u world, we know what we can do over there. Let's check this out. Let me set u to be square root of x. So let me write it down right here. I will say u equals to square root of x. And as usual, we'll differentiate both sides. Then we get du equals to the derivative of square root of x. It will be 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And then let me isolate the dx. So I will multiply both sides by 2 square root of x. So we get dx equals to multiply this over there. 2 square root of x du. And that's what we have so far. And now let me attempt to take this integral into the u world. This is going to be the integral of e to the square root of x, which is the u. So we have it like this. But then dx, as we can see, dx is the same as 2 square root of x du. And remember, x is not allowed in the u world. So what can we do? Well, as we can see the square root of x, this right here, this is secretly the same as u. Right? We talked about it earlier, so we have to refer back again. dx is the same as saying, let me just write it down, this is the expression we're going to use. 2, but this is u, and then we have the du. dx is 2u du, and this is the expression I'm going to substitute for the dx right here. 2u du. Okay? And then let me just put this down nicely. This is the integral 2u e to the u du. And now, in the u world, we can do integration parts for this problem right here. So I'm going to pick something to be differentiated and then something else to be integrated. And be sure you have the sign on the side, plus, minus, plus, minus. Just put on a few of them to get ready. I am going to integrate e to the u. I'm going to differentiate 2u. Integrating e to the u is just e to the u, e to the u, right? And then you can keep on going forever if you would like. But then I'm going to move to the differentiation column. The derivative of 2u is just 2, and the derivative of 2 is 0. And this is the first stop. Once we see 0 in the d column, we stop. We don't need to go down any further. This is it. And then we can read the answer from the di table right there. This is going to be the product of the diagonals is the part of the answer already. The first part is going to be 2u times e to the u, and both of them are positive. So positive 2u e to the u. And then the second part is going to be negative 2 times e to the u. And remember, the product of the diagonals along with the sign is the answer already. So we have the minus 2 times e to the u. And then we are done because, you know, if you do 0 times the next one, you just get 0. And then this is just 0. Hey. So we are done with the integration part from here to here. But then we are not done with the question yet because this is still in the u world. We have to go back to the x world now. OK, we see that 2 is just a 2, but u is the square root of x. So I just have to substitute back 2 square root of x, and then e to the u is e to the square root of x. And then we will have minus 2 e to this u, which is also the same as square root of x. And then we're all done. So I'll put a plus d at the end. This is the answer. That's it.